Hi guys, Professor Hashpie here. And on this lesson, we're gonna go over how to keep your banger clean with just a little bit of maintenance. So I have a few tips that if you were to keep in mind, you may be able to keep your banger lasting a little bit longer. Um, this particular banger here by Evan Shore is almost two years old and it looks like it's brand spanking new. So today I'm gonna to share with you some of the tips that I do to maybe teach you to keep your banger a little bit cleaner and to last as long as I have. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna give you a few tips in, uh, along the way. I'm gonna take a dab, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the tips that I do when I'm taking a dab, kind of speak out loud so you can uh, kind of learn them as long as I go. It's always fun to uh, do things uh, as we do them. So here we go. So first off, we've got some uh, live rosin for Mountain Select. This is actually some premium rosin, uh, extreme cream for Mountain Select. This is one of my favorite companies right now. Uh, this is actually a really great specimen of uh, live rosin. Really nice color, top tier. Uh, we're gonna be using a nice, clear scientific quality B-nails rig here with a 14 millimeter female joint. A 30 millimeter Evan Shore banger, flat top banger with a puke and beagle bubble cap. And we're gonna be featuring uh, Mountain Mist Isopropyl Alcohol Spray. Um, this should be one of the tools that you keep in your arsenal to help keep all of your stuff clean. Um, I go through bottles of this. I always have this. I like to keep it in my lab coat. So it's a very important tool to keep uh, on any dab table or any flower table anywhere around. And a nice good blazer torch. So I've also got Q-tips and I've got a dish of alcohol way off to the side so that way it's not in the path of me using um, the torch and I like to keep it covered when it's not in use. So it helps keep it from evaporating and also for safety reasons. So, so first we wanna do, so rule number one, um, we wanna make sure that I like to teach is start with a clean banger. Clean banger is the way to go because you're not gonna be blasting any uh, impurities into it. You're not gonna be uh, torch cleaning it and things like that. So if you start with a clean banger, that's the proper way to go. All right, so here we have our Evan Shore banger. And get some of our Mountain Select rosin. Got my trusty little dab tool here. All right, now we got a dab in there. Set this off to the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the banger up for about no more than 30 seconds. So. Rule number two is don't heat it up for any longer than you have to. So no longer than 30 to 45, sometimes maybe 50 seconds, depending on how thick the quartz is. Okay. And then I'm going to start my timer. Rule number three. There's no reason to have the torch all the way up on it like that. Okay. See how I'm just using the tip of the flame here? That's all we need to use. There's no reason. So we're gonna heat up the sides a little bit, then heat up the bottom. But there's absolutely no reason to be having the torch way up on there. So what you're gonna do is you don't wanna be burning a bunch of carbon and they're right where the oxygen and the, and the butane meet and they burn off. You don't wanna be blasting all that uh, carbon on there. Give it a little bit of time to burn off. Okay, so now we're coming up on 40 seconds. And that's 40 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna let that cool off a little bit. So remember our first rule was to start with a clean banger. Second rule is no more than 30 seconds on the heat up. And then the next rule was not to have the torch way up on it. Okay, that helps keep it clean. So now I got my turf monitor. And the next tip, the next rule is don't go in too hot. If you go in too hot, you cause that charring and that uh, chasing on there and you don't want that. You don't want to stain uh, your banger with too hot of a dab. So right now we are way hot. So we got a couple, couple seconds cooling off quick. And another good thing is to use quality dabs. If you're using trash dabs, that can leave a lot of impurities and stuff behind from uh, whoever extracted and whoever processed it. So uh, a nice clean dab will leave your banger uh, easier to clean too as well. Because you gotta remember, uh, our dabs, our concentrates are pretty much all organic uh, plant materials. So 
uh, we shouldn't be leaving a, a lot behind on these essential oils. Okay, so now we are just need a little bit of a touch up heat. I waited a little bit too long. There we go. So we're going to drop our dab in here. Such a good dab. Didn't take much, and you saw the clouds that I'm pulling out. And I got it all without burning it. <coughs> so now we want to go ahead and clean out our banger with a Q-tip. So we want to start with a dry Q-tip. I like to use two because I got a big banger here. So dry Q-tip to get all the reclaim out. And then I take our Mountain Mist ISO spray right here. Go ahead and spray a good amount in there. Make sure you see our dabs are covered. And it's clean. So another thing I like to do to help keep it nice and clean is I store it in the ISO till the next time I'm ready to use it. Remember the first rule was start with a clean banger? Well, it's always sitting in ISO, nice and clean, ready to use. Just make sure it's nice and dry before you use it again. We take our mountain mist and we spray our carb cap, take our paper towel, wipe it off. Keep that clean. I also like to spray the dabber. Make sure it's nice and clean for next time to use. And for good etiquette, I like to spray down the mouthpiece and if somebody else is going to use it after me, I'll always just make sure it's not sticky for the next person. Yep, and there you have it folks. Uh, so that banger, that's how I've been using it for the past two years. It's staying nice and clean. You follow those simple rules. I'm sure you can have a banger last as long as I have. So until next lesson folks, we'll smoke again. <laughs>